On the 17th of May 2012, I was privileged to be elected as the 215th Lord Provost of Glasgow and a line of Lord Provosts that date back to 1450. Like all my predecessors, I am passionate about my city and I hope to share that with you in the next few minutes. The origins of the city we know today go back to its establishment in about 600 AD through the good works of our patron saint, St Mungo. Little did St Mungo know when he established a small settlement on the banks of a local stream that this would grow into Scotland's greatest city. A city that is now geared to look out to the Commonwealth and the world. A city keen to play its part in the development of a modern economy. A city keen to support the aspirations of all its citizens and a city that will host the 20th Commonwealth Games between the 23rd of July and the 3rd of August 2014. Glasgow has changed dramatically over the last few decades. From an industrial background, Glasgow has now become a city in keeping with the 21st century. A city that is proud of its roots, of course, but at the same time moving forward with the times. Glasgow has had a garden festival, has been the European City of Culture, is a UNESCO City of Music and has hosted a Champions League final. All of these are testament to a vision of a modern European city. Our great River Clyde used to ring out the sounds of shipbuilding and other sea-based industries and although these have now decreased greatly, the regeneration of the river has brought a new lease of life to the city a new industrial revolution. Modern digital industries and financial services provision have sprung up and the banks of the Clyde have become a superb place to live and work. And all of this regeneration is backed up by our education system that is second to none, hosting as we do college and university sectors that attract up to 200,000 students each day. The retail industry is booming too, and Glasgow is one of the UK's major shopping destinations, again generating a different feel to the city and encouraging tourists to spend quality time in our shops, restaurants and attractions. We have the desire and the infrastructure to host a great 20th Commonwealth Games, and the people of Glasgow, both young and old, are looking forward to welcoming the athletes, officials and visitors to the city. All of the sporting venues are in place and ready for business and I can assure you that they are all world class. An estimated TV audience of over 1 billion will watch the open ceremony and I am working hard to ensure that Glasgow looks its best for the occasion. Please come to Glasgow and find out for yourself that we are not called the friendly city for nothing.